Hi, this is Border Work, and this is the second review of the model Droid. Today we'll be covering the um, software interface. Um, as you can see, once you power on your Droid, it has this, you know, Android 2.0 new features. Um, it has a very, it has a slide lock, which you basically rotate across, or uh, I guess that's also a sound off mute button, which you can actually rotate to cut the sound off or put the sound back on as you can see and to unlock the phone you click on that side and just rotate there so as you can see if you can see this quite clearly um, icons are a change on 2.0 um, still the same messaging marketplace maps browser contacts in you know, a phone um, on the droid the apps that come with it are um, I guess I should just go straight to the car home clicking on that gives you this very you know new slick interface look which um, I believe if I rotate it sorry rotate it the other way uh, cancel uh, respond so this is um, a new app that allows you to use the phone in a very GPS centric manner to navigate um, while driving so you have you can view maps you can navigate you can do voice search click on contacts there's a home button as well as a search and um, this is just a very easy way for you to um, navigate the phone while, like I said, while driving. Um, just getting back to the home screen, go back there. Um, so yeah, it, the Droid runs very smooth. Uh, transition is is very 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 nice. Um, if I go into contacts, I'm sure you would see. But one of the cool things with contacts now is that they actually labels above each alphabetical name order. So your friends in you know name A, a there's actually a uh, letter notation on the top that says A. You know when you go to B, you go to C. So it's like a separation that allows you to see through your contacts. Uh, you tap in your contact. So it's smooth. Um, um, you know process. Uh, if you tap on the picture icon, I guess of the individual, which is not here. But it allows you to go through a quick sub menu of you know, being able to call, send text messages, view contacts. Also, I guess you could either post on your Facebook page and check all the social media contents as they are added on to the to your contact list. Uh, going back to the home page, um, the the buttons are touch sensitive at the bottom, so. They give you a, a hepatic feedback that uh, lets you know that you're actually touching the buttons and getting a reaction from them. Um, going to let's go into the settings and uh, see what's in there. Like I said, the icons have kind of generally changed. I don't know if you can see the setting icon there, but it's now a roundish icon instead of like a tool set. Um, there's actually a large amount of degree of customability with the search about phone. Checking that this is running 2.0 firmware, um, SD card and phone storage. Um, this comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card on the Droid. Um, new things like accessibility are in there. Uh, text to speech is also in the uh, settings page. Um, you know, you have things like date and time as well as privacy account syncs which is normal but this also allows you to add accounts from this page so you can add your gmail your regular mail you know yahoo whatever email service you use um going back um yeah there's a lot of more customable customability in the uh, menu option um the um another thing to note is actually the camera we can go into the camera just just to give you a very good look as it comes on now uh, this is this is how the camera looks like as you can see it's tracking very well across the room um, I'm sure you can see that through the video um, does a very good job um, yes this is the basic under camera but it comes with a flash so I am going to take a picture of the um, Superman photo. If I just tap that, that's picture with the bad lighting. So, 
as you can see pictures taken I'm gonna add this picture to the end of the review so you you know have that and take the uh, software in this is very very smooth very simple um, has a very Android you know familiar Android feel that you know but it runs faster I guess it's due to the processor itself which has you know the Qualcomm um, 66 uh, Hertz processor um, but in all the phone just has a very smooth reliable feel to it um, you know a lot of things still are similar so if you go into messages um, it's still it actually allows you to put pictures in the messages which you can only do with third-party apps or apps like uh, Trump SMS which you can now do with um, you know with uh, 2.0 um, you know the message still has the same general outlook um, I haven't set up the email yet, so I really can't tell you how the email looks like. The browser, on the other hand, is very, very nice. Um, so, I hit the menu button. I decide to... Let's um, go to a new page. So, we tap on the top screen. CNN. Nah, let's do uh, a favorite website, Border Work. Just to see how fast it does. So... I have that saved here in the top so but it work now mind you this is running on the Verizon 3G so it's uh, pretty fast it does bring up the whole web page the browser is so much smoother on 2.0 uh, also does support f flash to some degree in the sense that you can actually see the very like our videos show up there but when you hit the video it plays off YouTube the YouTube app um, switches I believe it switches orientation when you flip it so yeah it runs very very smooth I am in I'm quite impressed with the new browser as you can most likely see you can add um, bookmarks which are now tabbed kind of like the um, Nokia N900 um, so you can add bookmarks there's several bookmarks already saved there like Facebook, MySpace, Google, MSN, things like that. So, um, yeah, it does. It's a, it's a huge improvement. Um, you know, on the browser, when you hit the browser menu, uh, but you know, same things. As add new page, Windows, more restrictions to settings, page info, bookmarks, and things like that. But um, yeah, it's it's very smooth. Um, smooth browser. I think it's you know highly upgraded and um you know works very well um yeah so i hope you enjoy that um just a quick software run on the uh droid like i said um a lot of things are still similar with more minute changes on the droid a couple of apps that come built in well come with it are facebook as well as a um, visual voicemail which is I believe it's different. I still haven't set that up yet. Um, a voice dialer, a voice search app, um, as well as a corporate calendar, which uh, I presume is different from the regular calendar, which allows you to sign into your exchange. So basically, that's an exchange cal calendar outlook. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, the next review would be on the um, Google Google Map navigation. Thank you.